Why do we have different morphology of P waves and atrial fibrillation? Good question. Let's check it out. So what we know from atrial fibrillation, the pathophysiology of that is that we're going to have P waves, not just originating from the SA node, which is up here, but we're also going to have them in areas all over the atrium. So we're having electrical capacity or electrical impulses from all over the atriums. Now, why do they look different on an ECG? Well, lead two is our normal ECG that we look at when it comes to rhythm recognition, is that when it comes from the SA node up here, we typically are going to see nice rounded upright P waves. But if we start getting origination of electrical starts here all over the atriums, it means that from a, a, a ECG standpoint is that it's going to look different from all different angles because this is going to kind of head over in this direction. This is going to head like this and this is going to head like this and typically this is going to head like that. So depending, depending on where that electrical pathway is originating from, it's going to look different from the lead to view. So that's why we have different morphologies of P waves when it comes to atrial fibrillation. If you love our short videos and you're worried that you're going to miss some of them, well, don't worry about that because we're going to send them straight to your email. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're going to send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine.